Hi everyone, my name is Allie Morrison and I've been a massage therapist for 24 years and a yoga teacher for 20. I wanna share with you a tip that I use to help open up the front of your shoulders when you're feeling particularly tight. You can do this at home and all you're gonna need is a thick blanket or a couple of towels. So let me show you what it is. You wanna start with a roll and I have a nice thick wool uh, blanket. It's a really nice dense type of a blanket. So you wanna stretch it out. And if you don't have anything this thick, you can actually take two towels and just put them together as if it were a double thick towel and roll that up. And that's gonna work great for you. The next thing you wanna do is make sure your roll is nice and smooth. So I like to spend a little extra time to make sure it's firm and smooth. So here's this cylinder of blanket. I'm gonna show you what to do with it. So you're gonna place this on the side of your, uh, I'm using a sticky mat, a, a yoga mat, but you could just place it on the floor, but you wanna place it in an orientation where it's going to be basically the lengthwise of your torso. So I'm gonna place this here, make sure you can see it in the video screen. And then what you wanna do is lie down next to it. So I'm gonna come onto my belly and actually let's do this first. I wanna make sure you know a little something about um, soft and bony tissue anatomy. This top part of your shoulder, we refer to this in the yoga practice as the head of your arm bone. So at the head of your arm bone in the front or the anterior part of your shoulder, you've got your deltoid muscles. And when you're seated at the computer all day, or let's say you're driving a lot, the tendency is for the head of the arm bone to drive forward as you're doing a particular task. And at the same time, this creates strain in the front of the shoulder and even into the chest. So these two areas here basically become stuck in a position. So we're gonna work on both supporting the front of the arm bone, the head of your arm bone, and pushing it back so that it moves more towards the back plane of your body. And this is key. A lot of us, people who are helping you with your posture, probably you've heard lots of, lots of times to take your shoulders back, and squeeze your upper back muscles. Well, that's great. But if you're still having a lot of condensed uh, tightness and contraction uh, in these front muscles, then this is going to be the stretch for you. Okay, so this roll is gonna be used to support the front of the head of your arm bone. So now come onto your belly and you're gonna place the front of the head of your arm bone onto this roll. And I'm gonna be turning away from you. You'll still be able to hear me. The arm is gonna stretch out. And I'm gonna make sure I've got my arm stretched out so that it is at a 90 degree angle to my body. So I've got the right arm bone supported on the roll and I'm gonna move my hips to the left. So lift the hips and move them to the left away from the roll. Now from here, I'm gonna roll over onto the side of the body. Can't quite see the palm of my hand in the screen. Perhaps the palm of my hand is on the floor and a roll to the outside edge of my right hip. Now, once I'm into this position, you could drop the temple of your head down onto the support of this roll. You can turn your chest away from the roll and then place the palm of your hand and you press the palm of your hand down into the floor. So to create a little bit of a hollow sensation in the armpit. So here you go. You're on the side of the body. This top leg can be whatever position is gonna be comfortable for you. You can even bend it and place the foot on the floor. You can place it behind you. That part doesn't really matter. You simply wanna stay squarely on the outer side of your right hip and you want the front of your shoulder to be supported by this blanket roll. So now if you're here and this is feeling great for you and you're thinking I could probably take a little bit more, then lift your head, take a look at your hand and you're gonna bend the elbow so that it's at a 90 degree bend now and your fingertips are pointing in the same direction that the crown of your head is pointing. So this is gonna bring you into a 90 degree bend in the right arm and that's going to increase the external rotation at the head of your arm bone and meanwhile you have the side of your temple on to the blanket now once you're here 
You could do um, a long hold. I recommend at least a minute and a half. If you really wanna go for broke and you really want to um, make some strides forward, particularly if you're having you know, hands fall asleep um, at night while you're sleeping, um, if you've been having tingling sensations or cold hands, you may wanna stay here a little bit longer. You wanna work with the discomfort that you feel in the stretch and then temper that with what your tolerance is for the day. It can be quite the moving target. So that being said, if you wanted to stay here as long as three minutes or even five minutes for maximum release of both the muscle and the fascia that interconnects each one of the muscles on down from the shoulder to the hand. Now to come out of the position, you'll simply inhale, roll back onto your belly, lace your hand down and press up so that you can do the other side. So let me see a different angle here. So we'll do the left side now. I have the roll down at the other end, come onto the belly. And so remember the head of your arm bone, my left arm is gonna go right onto the roll and I'm gonna stretch my arm straight out so that it makes a perpendicular relationship to my body. Now I'm gonna move my hips to the right. So left arms out and moving hips to the right. And now I'm gonna roll onto the outer left hip. This is where you can drop your head down just to touch the blanket roll. And then do a little extra turn. Turn your center of your chest away from the blanket roll. And that is a really great way to target the stretch deeper into the chest muscles, deeper into uh, the deltoid, even your bicep muscles are actually going to cross over the shoulder joint just underneath the deltoid muscles. So that's, this is really powerful to address all of that in the front and allow you to open up the chest in the front of the shoulder so it becomes easier for you as you're strengthening and retracting the shoulders, improving the tone and the posture of the upper back. This is really gonna assist with that. So now once you're here, again, you can either bend, uh, put the foot down, you can have the legs together. Maybe you wanna take the foot behind you. This actually brings you into a little bit of lateral flexion in the spine and hip. Then if you're really wanting more, you can look at, towards the left hand, bend at the elbow so that your fingertips are pointing in the same direction as the crown of the head. Place the head back on the roll for rest and now be patient. So I've covered this in an earlier video. We used a block. This is a wonderful way to use a much softer surface with the blanket and help you to open up this really crucial area that often gets forgotten. You can press the inner part of your elbow down to the floor if you're doing this bent elbow variation. As it presses into the floor, it actually creates a deeper hollowing effect in your armpit. And then to come out of this position, you know, let's say you're gonna be here for at least a minute and a half, maybe up to three minutes, but to exit the position, you'll just roll back onto your belly with an inhale, place your hand down, press and help yourself up. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little tip from me to you. And I hope to see you out there stretching. Love to have you join one of my classes. You can go to www.alliemorrison.online to take a class.